Fusion rifles are changing again. I'm Legola Flash, and here are the four things you need to know. Number one, yes, Destiny 2 PvP is getting a huge overhaul, and while it does come with a nerf to the amount of special ammo you have, it also comes with a damage buff. Now, a lot of people are brushing this off as accounting for the 30 HP health increase that players are getting in the new Crucible, but check this out. Health is only increasing by 15%. Most primaries are matching that with a crit damage increase, but glaives, shotguns, trace rifles, and fusion rifles are going past that and getting a flat 20% damage buff. That's 5% more than health is actually getting increased, which means a 5% damage increase across the board for these special weapons. This has crazy implications for fusion rifles. I did the math, and today we're gonna lay it all out. Starting with the second thing you need to know. That 5% increase means there are now no bolts to one burst resil checks on any type of fusion rifle. You know how you're always trying to get high impact reserves to fix things? This can be boiled down simply into no more worrying about tin resil titans. High impact frames like Glacioclasm and Wizen Rebuke will only need three out of their five bolts to take out any resil guardian. It used to be four bolts for tin, no more. Precisions like Main Ingredient and Epicurean will still take the same 5 out of 7, but in a massive improvement. Adaptive frames like Burden of Guilt and Techie and Force will also only take 5 out of their 7 bolt burst. So other than some very slight damage, there will be no reason to run a precision frame fusion rifle outside of the stats. Then rapid fire frames will take 7 out of their 9 bolts against any resil just as before. So that means that nothing needs high impact reserves anymore at base. In fact, the damage buff is so strong you don't even need high impact reserves for running accelerated coils on anything except adaptive frames. There's also none of this only on the last shot it will 5 bolt with high impact reserves. No, you just put high impact reserves on an adaptive with accelerated coils and you're good for those last two shots in the crucible. For rapids, precisions, and high impact frames, you don't even need high impact reserves. You can just put on accelerated coils and still eliminate with the same amount of bolts within your range for that fusion. I'm telling y'all, this is opening up so many possibilities. You don't need under over anymore for dealing with Titan Void overshields. That may be confusing because under over is a 20% damage boost, and the buff from this update is only 5%. But this is because under over only buffs your bolts until the overshield is broken. This update buffing all your bolts now lets you 6 bolt overshields from adaptives and precisions and lets you 8 bolt from rapids. They used to need all 7 and all 9 of their bolts against overshields at base so this is a significant improvement for fighting titans. You can even now 9 bolt on a rapid against woven mel guardians. It used to be impossible in the old sandbox without under over or high impact reserves. Now it's possible at base. Okay, just because you don't need high impact reserves to fix the bolts to one burst or under over to help with void overshields doesn't mean you should toss them out completely. Here's the third thing you need to know. The new go-to fusion rifle perks. Let me talk backup plan before I get to high impact reserves because this is super interesting. Backup plan has been frowned upon for every archetype except for high impacts due to it staying a 4 bolt 1 burst. It'll still be a 4 bolt 1 burst on high impacts, but you're giving up a bit more since you can 3 bolt everything now no matter the resil. So it's like the value stayed the same, but the damage market has changed. With that market changing though, backup plan is now an option on precision frames. Backup plan on a precision used to need all 7 bolts to get off a 1 burst. That was not appealing, but now it's down to 6 out of 7 bolts. That's not bad for a 30% charge time increase on demand. Now it's right on the line, you can't run it with accelerated coils or anything, but a precision frame with a charge time masterwork and backup plan is a 500 16 millisecond charge time. That's basically the speed of a rapid fire frame like iterative loop. But you've probably got better stats because it's a precision frame and you only need 6 of your 7 bolts instead of 7 out of your 9 from a rapid. Not bad. Okay, high impact reserves. Since it doesn't change your bolts to one burst, you've got that slot opened on adaptives and high impacts. Perks like rangefinder, successful warm up, moving target, tap the trigger, and even kickstart. I'll list out all my god roll combo predictions at the end of the video, but to give a quick example, look at Burden of Guilt. You can now safely run successful warm up in that column and not worry about various resilience levels that'll mess you up without high impact reserves. It's just not an issue. Now you don't need high impact reserves, but it still gives that extra damage for when you start hitting damage fall off. That could still help you get the one burst at a range you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. 
It also helps in some situations where a Guardian has some kind of overshield, against a Warlock and a Healing Rift for instance. High Impact Reserves makes it to where you can take them out with the same amount of bolts as normal for every type of fusion except adaptives, and even then, you could still do it on your last shot. It also helps adaptives actually take out the ridiculous overshield one-eyed mass titans get. So, there are still some reasons you might want to run high impact reserves. A similar thing goes for under over. You don't need it for void overshields anymore as we talked about, but it significantly helps you with woven mail, bringing high impacts down to four bolts, precisions and adaptives to six, and rapids down to eight. If you run enhanced under over on scatter signal, if my math's right, you should even be able to seven bolt up to four resil. And if you add liquid coils in, you could even seven bolt up to seven resil against the guardian with woven mail as if they didn't have woven mel at all. That's amazing. Before we move on to fusions to look out for, I do want to talk damage perks. Damage is so flipped around now. What perks or abilities are actually going to help different archetypes? So here's the percentage damage buff you need for each archetype to move it to a lower bolt to one burst and actually help you. And I just had to come back to the recording because thanks to Cami Cakes, I just came to a massive realization. A lot of the damage buffs I'm about to mention are impossible for fusion rifles in the new Crucible Sandbox. Since ammo is going to be automatically loaded into your fusion when your special ammo meter fills up, perks like Kill Clip, Multi Kill Clip, and even Overflow are unable to activate. Oh my gosh, even Merciless can't do its exotic perk, the one thing it had going for it. <laughs> Man, I that that one was about to get so good with the damage changes. Okay, back to the damage buffs needed to lower your bolts. 45.2% for high impact, so something like Golden Tricorn times 2 or the Merciless Exotic buff, rest in peace. 19.79% for precision frames, that means Harmony and Kill Clip will be good players here. I, I mean, just Harmony, I guess. 24.23% for adaptives, basically just Kill Clip, so good luck. And most fascinating, only a 10.58% buff is needed to push rapid fires from a 7 bolt down to a 6 bolt 1 burst against any Resil. That means you could just get Radiant and 6 bolt up to 9 Resil. 10 Resil if you have a Surge mod on top of it. Kickstart will easily 6 bolt on Rapids, and Adagio plus 1 Surge mod will even 5 bolt on Rapids. Pretty interesting stuff. Alright, that's what all the perks are doing with the new damage. Here's the fourth thing you need to know about the changes. What fusion rifles and rolls to look out for, or check your vault for. For high impacts, Mid is Reckoning, Wise and Rebuke, and Glacioclasm are all free to run successful warm-up. These are going to be insanely strong options, Glacio can do it and max that range, and Mid is Reckoning can run backup plan and successful warm-up together. A pretty dirty combo that got even stronger, especially because you can even run accelerated coils on a high impact and not get penalized anymore with your bolts to one burst. Then you've got those high impact fusions that didn't even have high impact reserves. Think the Slick Draw Aramite or the Arc 100 Handling 100 Rain Nox Perennial. You've even got super accurate high impacts like Loaded Question and Merciless. For precision frames, overall it'll feel like a bit of a nerf because there's hardly any difference between them and adaptives now. They are just easy to use, but they don't have that bolts to one burst edge that they used to. They just have stats but they do work okay with backup plan now, so I'm for sure going to be trying out backup plan on a crafted epicurean with a cranked range stat. I think that could be really interesting. I'm going to be looking out for the same thing on mate ingredient, since it gets backup plan in the fourth column and can still roll under pressure or firmly planted in the third. And if you check your vaults, you might even have a hollowed words with backup plan. I've got one with under pressure that I'm for sure going to be trying out, but it felt like it lacked some range last time I used it. We'll see. For adaptives, oh my gosh, there are so many new things to try. I already mentioned Burden of Guilt with successful warm-up, but you could do the same thing with Royal Executioner. Techie Enforce and Pressurized Precision are free to run Rangefinder, and this isn't damage related, but quick shout out to Discord on Pressurized Precision with the ammo changes. I've talked about it enough on this channel, but you should definitely Give that video a listen if you haven't because it's now extremely relevant. Another big one, Trinary System, can now run double accuracy perks like the famed Zer Ingredient. That is a disgustingly good combo on a fusion rifle that has very good base stats. Some of y'all might be playing some Gambit. There's also Timelines Vertex, an adaptive that got left behind with its lack of high impact reserve, so it might be worth revisiting. For rapid fire frame fusions, I think Kickstart players are immediately going to be excited because they can 6 bolt 10 Resil Guardians again. Iterative loop, scattered signal, looking at y'all. But to me, 
The interesting thing with Rapids is being able to 6 bolt with just Radiant up to 9 Resil. That's pretty crazy and you can do it on any Rapid Fire Fusion. Adagio doing a similar thing with 5 bolting is something I'll think about. You can find it on Scatter Signal, Iterative Loop, and Likely Suspect, but I just really hate going slower on something that's supposed to be fast. I hope this info helps you comb through your vault and think about your approach to fusion rifles in the new sandbox. This has been Lego with Flash, until next time, GG.